you may have seen the title of this video and not known whether to agree or disagree. You may agree wholeheartedly. You may despise me for it, but I'm going to explain why I think Elden Ring is the best game of at least the last decade. From Software are the creators behind Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and now Elden Ring. And in my opinion, as someone who hasn't played all of the Souls games and has only played and completed Bloodborne and Elden Ring, this is revolutionary and one of the best games I have ever played in my life. Not just in the last decade, but I'll give it the last decade at least. Elden Ring can be a difficult game for many. Whether you're an experienced gamer or a newcomer, you might struggle no matter what. But it's that struggle that can draw people in, the challenge. There is no difficulty scaling in this game, it's always on hard mode. But what it excels at is giving people options for playstyles. You can play as a mage, you can play with swords and be a warrior. You can do whatever you want within the confines of this game and that's what makes it great. As someone who usually plays games like this as brute force style characters, I decided to switch it up and go with a magic type character through this game. And I will say it was one of the best experiences I've had in a game ever. The plethora of skills you can learn, weapons you can acquire, outfits you can wear, and all of them do something. They all either hinder you or make you stronger or deliver a unique attack that you can use against your enemies. The game features spells, incantations, summons, ashes of war. You can go ranged or you can keep the fight close. Graphically, the game is stunning. It's one of the best looking games out there, no matter what anyone says. Story-wise, there are criticisms to be had. The story is non-existent for a lot of the game, if you expect stories to come in cutscenes. A lot of the story comes through the lore that you can learn by reading, by picking up hints, or doing certain things in the game that will give you answers. That might not be something that you enjoy for a game, and that's understandable. As someone who likes story in their games, it is something I can be disappointed by, but that's not something that hindered me here. It's something that actually drew me in. I wanted to play a game where I could run around, get some lore, get a little bit of story, but be able to explore a world that looked new, looked fresh, and was interesting. And I got that. But the most important part about this game is the gameplay. Like I've explained, there are different styles you can use, but how does it feel? What is involved in the gameplay? A lot of Souls fans will know that the original Dark Souls was quite sluggish, quite slow, and as the games progressed, that changed. Dark Souls 3 has a different style. Sekiro was much faster paced, but the gameplay was different, and Bloodborne, while similar to Dark Souls, felt like a much faster paced game and was all the best for it. Elden Ring keeps that style up. You can play sluggish and slow depending on your build, but it still feels fresh because of the plethora of ideas that they've come up with to keep you involved and keep you into this game. You can find a spell or you can find a weapon that's better than what you've got and does a completely new thing and that could be another playthrough for you in New Game Plus. It's something that keeps you coming back and it's something I love about this game. One of, if not the biggest thing about this series is the bosses. Elden Ring goes an extra level. There are about 165 bosses, maybe half of them are unique. Uh, some, are, some, some are very much uh, copies of each other and that can be annoying, but just being able to explore and find a boss and go through that area, fight that boss, and come out victorious is an achievement of itself and really gives you the gratification that you need when you play a game as hard as this. I've personally pretty much 100%ed this game. Um, I've completed it three times, uh, of course two on New Game Plus for the achievements uh, or trophies I should say because I did play it on PlayStation, PlayStation Master Race. Don't get mad please. Um, but. The series really excels in its combat, in its bosses, and there are really unique bosses in this game, ranging from the legendary Soldier of Godric 
to uh, the Elden Beast, the final boss in the game, which is horrible, by the way. It's one of my least favourite bosses, but I'll let them off. I'll let them off. Um, it doesn't compare to the Soldier of Godric at all. But the good thing about this game that a lot of other Souls games don't have is that you can go into an encounter, realise you're not strong enough, and go elsewhere to find a new challenge that can help you level up or find weapons and skills that will help you to fight this next battle. It's something I love, something that more games uh, should do. It doesn't feel grindy because you're not just going out to fight random mobs over and over again. You're going out on your exploration to find a new boss, a different area and something new to fight. And that in itself eliminates the grind but also feels like you're never short of things to do. And it's something I love and it's what makes it one of the greatest games of all time because it takes into, fa uh, into the fact that not everyone can beat the boss first try or fifth try or tenth try or a hundredth try but if they can go off and do something else and uh, still get the enjoyment without feeling like it's grindy that's something all RPGs, all games of this style should look to achieve. No one likes to grind, okay there might be a few but no one just likes to sit there for hours and hours and hours grinding just for one boss. Um, it's something that Dark Souls itself eliminated. You can grind, but grinding won't really help uh, all that much. <laughs> um, you just need to learn the mechanics of the fights and go for it. And that's something that Elden Ring allows you to do as well. You can sit there and learn the mechanics and if you're patient enough and you, you have no gear, you could still beat a boss if you know what you're doing. It will take time, like I said, but you can still do it. The game also feels rewarding. Each boss can give you a good amount of runes to level up, uh, to buy new things. They can give you a new weapon that could be great. A lot of the main bosses give you remembrances that can unlock new weapons if you choose to do so. Um, I recommend you do. Some of the weapons are very good and can help your build and it just makes it just feel so rewarding to play this game. You can go off to a random boss and find something you're missing. There are items that can help you in a fight, help you when you're mixing potions and just provide an all new experience that you might decide you want to change up. There is an opportunity within the game um, after a certain boss to be able to switch up your points that you've done with your leveling up and you can change up your playstyle entirely from that. So it's just such a fun experience that I recommend anyone trying, even if you're, you're new to games, but I'll get onto that right now. So Elden Ring is the game of the decade for me, not only the game of the year, the game of the decade. Of course, it came out a little while ago now, but this video is to try and draw attention to the fact that the game is accessible to anyone. You might struggle, it might not be the game for you and you might want not want to continue it at all and that's fair enough but I recommend anyone with at least a small interest in this game to give it a try. Don't just give it up straight away, get a little bit into it. If you struggle on a part, go elsewhere, do something new. Dying is a part of this game and it's a part of this series and it's always going to happen <laughs> whether you die once, whether you die 50 times, whether you die a thousand times. If you're dying a thousand times I'd recommend going to do something else in the game. <laughs> but maybe you need to change something up, maybe you need to use a new weapon, maybe you need to look something up on the internet and decide okay I want to build my character like this and try again. You never know how you're going to experience this game. For me as someone who plays a lot of video games, this was one of the best experiences I've ever had and I'm excited for a second game, especially because I had no interest in this game going into it. I saw the hype, I've seen the hype for years and I expected nothing. I got the game anyway and uh, I actually played Bloodborne before I played Elden Ring and I'd recommend that too, especially for fans who like that sort of gothic Victorian style. It's a very interesting and unique experience. So yeah, like I said, I recommend playing Elden Ring and uh, even if you enjoy that and you haven't played the other Souls games, give them a go. Uh, I'm doing that now with the Dark Souls series and I hope to get through those and get, uh, to get to Sekiro as well eventually. But you never know, you never know and that is why 
I believe this game is the game of the decade. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and let us know what you want to see or any critiques from this video. Uh, if you agree with us, if you disagree, it's up to you. Um, I just want to give my opinion here or at least what I feel about this game. So let me know anything you want to see from us as well. Uh, we'll we'll get to it if there's any game series you want us to focus on any tv series movies whether you want us to actually play something uh just let us know and we want to see what people are looking forward to so yeah enjoy and i hope you uh decide to pick up this game and give it a try yourself